All right, so we're making chicken, no chicken noodle soup, jackfruit, actually. Here we have some chopped collards, celery, frozen peas, chopped carrots, low sodium vegetable broth, no chicken, better than bouillon, liquid smoke, onion, minced or grated garlic. We have herb salt, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. And here we have our herbs. We have sage, thyme, fennel, rosemary, and two bay leaves. So y'all, I almost forgot the noodles, which I'm using quinoa spaghetti. It's gluten-free. It has rice flour, white rice flour, and quinoa. So that's what we're using as the noodles. We're gonna fill this here pot up, probably all the way to the top. All right, y'all, so here we go. I got the pot on medium-high heat, and I'm gonna add this avocado oil. It's about one-fourth a cup. We're gonna let that warm. We're gonna grab the garlic, this is just a yellow onion, but you can use whatever onion you prefer. So now that we got them cooking in the pan, we're gonna stir it around. Now let's place that lid on here. So we're gonna let that sweat for a few minutes and then we'll start adding uh, more vegetables and the jackfruit and spices also. Okay, so now as you can see, sweated this down, the onions and the garlic. Now it's time to add some of the veggies. Let's start off with the, the carrots. Smells so good. Nothing better than onions and garlic. Now we're gonna add our celery. Next two items that I'm putting in this soup aren't conventionally in chicken noodle soup, but that's okay because we can do whatever we want and we can be extra, so. I decided to add collard greens. And next up we have frozen peas. You can just add it frozen. Doesn't You don't have to be thawed or anything. Okay, so next we're gonna add our herbs. We're gonna start with our herb mixture, which this is sage, fennel, rosemary, and thyme. So you add that to your vegetables. It's gonna be herby gonna be delicious. Next up, we're gonna add some of our dry herbs. We have herb salt, but you can just use regular salt, cumin, onion powder, garlic, and black pepper. And stir. The good thing about this soup is the hardest part is the prep, but it's really not hard at all. Once you get it done and you just add it all to the pot, it's an easy, great meal for the winter months. I don't know about where everybody else is, but here it's like 10 degrees outside. That's too cold for me. Last but not least, we're gonna add our jackfruit. Let's see. Let's do this. Ooh. You wanna gently mix it in with the rest of the vegetables. This is gonna be crazy amount of soup because we still haven't added the noodles. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's gonna be so good. This pot is gonna be full to the top. Okay, so at this point, you could turn your heat back up to high or medium high because we're gonna add our vegetable broth. Here I have low sodium vegetable broth. Like I said, this is pretty thick, y'all. So if you have a bigger pot than me, it might be better if you wanna make this much soup. I'm actually gonna cook the noodles in a separate pot and then add them to here and then I might add some more broth just to make sure I have enough liquid because otherwise, like this is really thick. Like it's not soup at that point. <laughs> But I wanted to make sure it was enough, you know, stuff like that gets you full. So we have a lot of vegetables in here and jackfruit. Um, it's still going to be delicious. Um, but I say alternate the amount of broth you you like. If you want more broth, then add more broth. But you might have to add more spices in order for it to be the consistency that you like. 
as far as soup goes. But I like a fair amount of vegetables or contents to my soup along with the broth, but the broth is needed. So yeah, I might just end up adding the rest of this. Okay, so you know what we can't do. We can't forget the bay leaves. We need the bay leaves. Throw those bay leaves in there. Push them down in there. So it can re release that bay leaf flavor. Even though I can't really tell you like what specific flavor bay leaves have. I just know that you put them in soup and the soup tastes good. That's all I know. So somebody tell me like what flavor does bay leaf have and how does it elevate our soups? Let me know. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna add some dabs of liquid smoke. You don't want too much, but I love like a smoky flavor in my food um that's just me so this is optional but it does give it a little bit of depth you really don't need a lot of liquid smoke okay so next up we're going to add our bouillon this is the organic vegetarian better than bouillon no chicken base it's good that's all i can say about it you don't want to use too much but you definitely don't want to use too little it's supposed to be a chicken like soup so you want this bouillon to give it a chicken-esque Chicken-esque, is that a word? Chicken, anyway, it's a word now. Chicken-esque type of flavor without the chicken. So let's add that. Before we do that, I have a pot here getting the water ready to boil for our quinoa noodles. And so we're gonna grab a spoon, nice, nice spoonful of that. And we're gonna add it to the soup. And guess what, we're gonna do that again. Definitely about to do it again. Gonna add a nice spoonful. I say do it to your taste, but definitely don't do too much. Don't start off with too much because your soup can be too salty because this is literally all salt pretty much. With spice and seasoning. Yeah, I don't know how much I added, but I showed you. So add about that much. And I actually might end up altering a lot of my um, amounts. I'm going to let this cook with the bouillon in there. Then I'm going to taste it to see if it has the flavor that I'm looking for. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm liking this flavor. I feel like I burnt my tongue earlier, so I'm hoping I'm tasting this right. I don't know, my taste buds seem a little messed up, but what I can taste, tastes really nice. It's really coming together. But I'm definitely going to add a little bit more of our no chicken bouillon. Let's put the lid on and just let this cook. Bring it to a boil. Then once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down. Yeah, so this is boiling now. So we're going to turn it down. See, it's starting to boil over. <laughs> we're going to turn it down to um, medium to low heat. Now this is my spaghetti. Like I said, it's quinoa spaghetti. So this soup will be completely gluten free. I don't want the spaghetti noodles to be this big. So before the water starts to boil, I'm gonna break them into three parts. So it's smaller noodles that would make sense for soup. Okay, so this is after I broke the noodles. Now it's time to add the noodles to the water. So got the noodles in there, setting the timer. We have to stir the noodles in here so they don't stick together. Stir occasionally, as the box says. See, we lost one. We actually lost multiple, but nothing we could do about it. I'm not, I'm not grabbing it. Over here, we have this soup and ah, such a nice aroma. Once we add the noodles in here, it's gonna be packed. <laughs> it's already packed, but it's gonna be super packed. And here we have our drained noodles rinsed and ready to go in the soup. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Gradually just plop them in there. Grab our spatula. Let's stir it on in. I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the day, it probably, I haven't ate chicken in a very long time. So it's been over seven years, I'm sure. If y'all remember the Campbell's chicken noodle and how the chicken didn't seem like it was right You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like pieces of chicken. It was like I don't even know how to explain it y'all but For y'all who know y'all know You know what I'm saying? Like with the chicken it wasn't it seemed like it was fake 
I don't know what it was, but it just did not seem right. So that's just my little spiel. Let's zoom in for the the herby looks. Mm, I love the color. So it's wholesome. It's healthy. It's brothy. It'll get you full, keep you warm during these winter months. And let me know if you try this soup. And I say add any of these spices and seasonings to your own taste. Um, but that is what I put in here. You can add, okay, noodle. <laughs> you can add a little of cayenne pepper to give it a little kick if you like. You can take out the peas if you don't like peas, but I like peas, so I put peas in here. Or collard greens, you can use kale. But, or you don't have to use any greens at all, but I just like that extra amount of nutrients and flavor. Uh, the nice bitter flavors that the kale bring, I mean, not kale, the collard greens bring. And you can definitely cut this recipe in half if you don't like to eat the same thing all week or I'm sure you could freeze this um, but I have never done it so freeze at your own risk <laughs> but I'm gonna let this simmer for probably an hour just keep it on low heat and let it be and yeah let all the flavors set and then I'll have some. You can eat this with crackers, bread, maybe toasted baguette, or you don't even have to toast the baguette. Baguette is good. So you could just eat it with baguette, dip the bread in the soup. That would be absolutely delicious. Yeah, thanks for um, watching. And I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all are having a great week so far. This is the, how we're gonna be eating. Clean, hearty, but not too heavy something that's going to be good for our bodies and minds and spirits like i said have a great week people peace